on this December 24th in our Lord's year of 2019 to come into the house to celebrate our Lord and Savior. He will save his people from their sins, including ours. The grace of God is a wonderful and marvelous thing. Mercy is not getting what you deserve. Grace is getting what you don't deserve. Amen. And our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, has come to bring us new life. Let us come before the Lord in an attitude of prayer. Lord, we need you. Lord, on this Christmas Eve, 2019, the hopes and fears of all the years are met in thee tonight. Lord, I pray for everyone who's gathered here. Lord, I even pray for those who wanted to be here tonight but, but couldn't for faith or had an accident on the way here, Lord. Lord, have mercy. Lord, we ask you to forgive us of our sins, and we ask you for new life this night. We pray that the birth of your son will change everything in our lives. We pray for our hearts, our homes, for your church. We pray that we may be open to the new life that you offer to each of us. As we gather this night, we pray for our nation, which just seems so broken right now. And I prayed last Sunday from President Donald Trump, Trump to Speaker Nancy Pelosi. Lord, have mercy on this nation. And Lord, help us to find a way through this mess and even a way out of it. Guide us. And more than we pray for the nation and for the Caesars of this world, we pray for the Church of Jesus Christ. Even this church. Sharing the love of Jesus. We love because you first loved us. That's our mission, Lord. Sharing the love of Jesus. We love because you first loved us. Be with us and guide us, Lord. Bless us on our way. We pray for our Bishop John, for our District Superintendent Hector. We pray that you would uh, bless us and, and guide us. We pray for all who serve in the military. We pray for first responders. And more than anything else tonight, we pray that we would pay attention to your word. And to the wonderful blessing that you offer to each. And Lord, we thank you that you came out of love. Help us to receive that love, Lord, and to, to pass it on. So again, we pray for the hearts of everyone here. We pray for our homes. And we pray for the church that it may simply be a part of your story, Jesus. The greatest story ever told. As you have taught us, Lord, we pray together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Amen. It's an honor and a privilege. Uh, I had two surprises. Both happened out in the parking lot. One was yesterday. Uh, I just saw somebody pull in, and it, uh, we have a, a ministry we've been doing for years and years here. Uh, we were on Route 130, our Asbury starts with an A, people come to us when, when they need help. Uh, but officially this year we started the Good Neighbor Outreach, particularly the 
help people who are homeless. And a guy named Mike pulled up in his car. This time last year, they'd gone through a period of homelessness, and in our church, we helped them, as well as the, all the churches in our area. And uh, now Mike and Mindy, they have, have an apartment, both working hard, and uh, he just wanted to come by and uh, just give us a thank you. And uh, the card says, may the warmth and beauty of the season remain in your heart, all of our hearts and homes throughout the new year. Amen. Amen. And as well as the handwritten thank you. And then today, a another woman who was living out of her car uh, and now is, in a, now is in permanent housing, uh, she also came by, uh, came by with a thank you. Since May, our Good Neighbor Outreach has, uh, we've supplied almost 400 nights of lodging. And you know something, we're not in this alone. St. Charles Borromeo uh, has a St. Vincent de Paul chapter, and uh, as well as all the churches, and we're, we're in this together, uh, and, and we're in this to share the love of Jesus. We love because he first loved us. And uh, it's just a privilege to, to be a part of what our, our, our dear Lord is doing. And then last week we had a celebration of life for Albina Mary May Gursky. And she had been, been uh, a fixture of, of Cinnamon But it was our privilege to make sure that May had good housing in the past year. And, uh, and she went to be with the Lord a short time ago. Again, it was an honor to be able to help her. Let's worship God with our giving. Will the ushers please come forward at this time? 